All right, this video is for Chris Jones, Sanchez D, Fernando, Silver 8 Bits, and Jeff Brimbo. Okay, I made it a little easier for y'all to manage the ratios. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I think it was, um, uh, I don't know, Sanchez D or, or Chris, Chris Jones, I think he said he had a, a, a eight, a five gallon jug. All right, now, I, I don't, you have to do the math on, on this one for the five gallon jug. But here's what you want to focus on. Start with your base application of this package of full crystals. You put it in a half gallon jug. I use a water jug. Um, it, it doesn't matter what you use. Just make sure it's a half gallon. Now 16 cups in a gallon. So half a gallon. Oh, smokes. A half gallon is about eight cups of water. Eight cups. So you put in the full bag of full crystals in warm water because you want it to dissolve. You put it in the eight cups. Now, out of that half gallon, which is eight cups, you put one cup and a half to three gallons of water. All right? So... Each cup and a half, you should be able to get about three gallons out of each cup and a half. So that would basically boil down to uh, about uh, anywhere from, like I told y'all before, about anywhere from 12 to 13 gallons of water, give or take a few. Now, it depends on how bubbly or how strong you want your solution, but that's the foundation you want to base your ratios on. Now, if you want to stretch your solution, ammonia is like the basis of anything you want to enhance. So, if you're talking about Dawn in retrospect, Dawn combined with ammonia will make it more frothy. So you have to cut your ratio down with the door. Now, you're mixing it. Now you gotta be mindful mixing various chemicals together, ammonia being one of them. Now ammonia is safe, except for, you should never mix ammonia and bleach together. That's a nasty combination. But with this stuff, I've actually mixed ammonia with this stuff and it actually stretches your ratios and your solution. So, uh, let's say you want to use a cup of ammonia or two cups of ammonia in the mixture. Then you want to kind of double up your solution. So, whereas using a cup and a half uh, without the ammonia, now if you add the ammonia, now you want to go like two and a half cups. You know what I mean? Something to that nature. But ultimately, I kind of simplified it for you guys until you get your uh, full crystals and actually put it into play. So you're talking about a cup and a half to three gallons of water is what I like my solution to be. Now keep in mind, based on the strength, you're gonna find on those black uh, gaskets you're gonna find out that it's gonna bleed a little bit with discoloration. Well, not discoloration, but you're gonna find out that it's gonna clean the black off really good. So when you wipe it, you're gonna find out that you'll you'll see some black on your rag. That's, that's not a big deal, it's okay, because it's cleaning off the, the old surface of the gasket and restoring it. And, and so many words but I really don't think it's going to destroy it so uh, it depends on how long it's sitting on there um, I have yet to come to that problem but you guys will see what I'm talking about but 
when you get your stuff, just listen to what I say. Uh, you can play around with it, depending on how strong you want it. You can maybe just add a cup instead of a cup and a half. A cup would even be good to three gallons of water out of your base application, which is eight cups. So about 20 gallons, all right? So if you wanted to stretch it like that, you could. But that's a foundation that you can work off of. I'm still working on the actual ultimate ratio because this stuff is strong. I still have yet to contact the company to uh, have them put a scaled down version where it's easier to manage the ratios. But until then, this is what we have to work with. All right? So, uh, when you get your stuff, uh, get back to me, give me some feedback, because we're in this together. And I don't claim to know it all. I can only just speak from experience. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to save y'all some time of having to deal with trying to get these ratios down packed because this it's, it's a tough one these ratios are really really potent so you really have to know how to use this product if you're going to be using this on the inside but there you have it that can complete this full ratio uh full crystal uh for now but there you have it all right back in fact stay tuned for the uh, live canvassing after this video. Alright, peace, peace, peace. I also had to tell y'all that this stuff, when I did the residential home of the live canvassing that I took y'all on, I used that stuff in and out on that residential home. And all the bug poo all the dirt that's been on those windows. I did not have to steal wool, none of it. I didn't have to soft scrub, none of it. Uh, I pre-soaked the windows. So I, I mop a few windows ahead and while it's sitting on a window, I attend to the tracks. You know, get the dust out and all that. So this is about maybe four windows. You know, sometimes you have four sets of windows in a room what I'll do is I'll wet the inside of four windows then I'll go to to the tracks of those two sets of windows by the time I've done the tracks I have to re-wet the window of course but all that stuff has been dissolved by that solution so it's really really not much scrubbing involved at all with this stuff and check this out. Also, I had to tell y'all. Remember I told y'all I weren't using gloves? I don't, I just don't feel like I can clean better with gloves on. I know that kind of sounds strange, but that's just me. I like the bare hands. I like to work with nothing obstructing or inhibiting me from cleaning a window fast or, or whatever. So, actually... I soaked those window ledges down with my pump sprayer to blast the dirt out of it. And then I sopped, I sopped a lot of it up with my rag. But check this out, I was wringing the rag out with that powerful solution. And my hands didn't feel any different. They're not all busted up. I don't notice any ir irritation of any kind of itchiness or rashing going on. So, is it safe for the hands? I would like to say yes. Now, some that may be a little sensitive and may have uh, skin problems with various lotions and uh, perfumes and, and things of that nature, some people can't wear oils, some people can't wear certain colognes because it'll make them break out in a rash. Just like some people can't use cer certain deodorants because it'll make the armprits real sensitive, almost tender to the touch. But that's just what I'm saying. And that's one that one has to make their own discretion. But ultimately, uh, yes, it's safe 
I've been using it indoors now for quite some some weeks now, a couple of weeks now. No, more than a couple of weeks. I've been using it three weeks now on the inside with no hands, I mean no gloves on, and I've been wringing it out with my bare hands today for the first time. And I mean saturated. I'm talking about sopping wet. All day, every single window I was wringing that rag out and nothing happened. My hands are just, just, as, just as normal. So that's one to think about. All right, peace, peace, peace.